Hi, I'm going to show you how to use your iPad as a document or a sheet music viewer. Uh, the iPad's a fantastic invention. Uh, I'm a musician. I've been using the iPad uh, for several years. Uh, instead of lugging all my books around, I've just loaded all my charts up on the iPad. And that, for me, is a fantastic solution. There's a whole lot of different ways that you can do it. There are a whole lot of different apps that you can do it with, but I'll just show you how I use it. Um, we're on Mac at the moment, but it's pretty much the same for uh, PC as well. So what you want to do is that you want to open up System Preferences uh, from the Apple, and then you want to open up uh, the Print and Scan folder. Once you open up the, uh, the Scan, um, you can open the scanner and uh, most home scanners uh, are going to have uh, a whole lot of features on them, one of which is a scanner and mostly they will do what you want. Um, if you have a printer at work, it might have a scan function. You can edit this uh, to do a very similar thing on your uh, work printer as well. So, uh, for today's gig, we're playing La Belle Claire Blues uh, by James Morrison. Uh, the band owns this chart, so uh, I'm going to put it on my iPad. So, just to go through some of the features, what you need to do, you selecting the scan mode, you want to select black and white, which is good. The resolution, uh, we've got 300 dpi here, that's absolutely fine. Um, we're going to compress that a little bit later. A4 size is fine. Scanning to the folder here, I'm going to call this number 46 La Belle Claire Blues. And we want to make it a PDF and that is all good. So when we're ready, we're going to click scan. Okay, that's the scanner doing uh, the first page. I'm going to do the next page now. Okay, so you would have noticed that uh, there was a box ticked here. Combine into single document. That's a particularly handy box to tick uh, for the PDF because if you have a multiple image chart, multiple page chart, you are able to make a single PDF document out of it, which is great. Now, with the 300 dpi resolution here, what we end up with is a file that is maybe a little bit uh, large for our um, iPad to deal with. So what we want to do is compress that a little bit. So to make the 5.3 megabyte size just a little bit smaller, what we're going to do is we are going to edit uh, that in Adobe Acrobat. So we're going to double click on that. Adobe Acrobat now, it's three pages, it's 5.3 megabytes. We're just going to reduce that a little bit so that it's not as taxing on the iPad to change pages and to store it. So what we're going to do is that we're going to click on document and then we're going to scroll down to reduce file size. Okay, on the reduce file size, uh, we can either go apply to multiple uh, PDFs, but we just have the one PDF, so I'm just going to click OK. OK, then it's going to ask us where we would like to save this particular document. I'm going to save it in the same folder. Then it's going to ask me uh, if I want to overwrite the existing file, and I'm going to click Yes. Okay, so uh, Adobe Acrobat has crunched some numbers. It has overwritten the chart and we've gone from 5.3 megabytes to 296 kilobytes. So that's a fantastic size for storing and the chart still looks really good. So, uh, and it's readable and it's going to be fine. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to click on that particular file we are going to go into our iTunes uh, folder 
under your particular iPad, then you're going to click on apps. You're going to navigate to your chosen uh, PDF viewer. That could be Adobe Acrobat. Uh, I like to use Unreal Book for music. Um, that seems to work very well for my purposes. And so what we're going to do, we're just going to click, hold, and drag it into iTunes. We're going to let it go in iTunes. And then we're going to sync our iPad uh, with iTunes. And then your chart will be in Unreal Book or your chosen app. And then you're able to use it for your purposes. Okay, I'd just like to show you how I set up uh, my iPads uh, on stage. I do like K&M products because they are German and they are good. They make uh, quality gear. Sure, it's a bit more expensive than other gear, but you know you get what you pay for and uh, K&M make a good product. So this is the Koenig and Meyer 19712 iPad stand holder. Uh, you can go portrait and landscape, it flips around. Uh, I just put it on a regular microphone stand. Again, K&M uh, looks pretty good. Now, if you want to get really fancy and use Unreal Book in two-page mode, um, so you can see uh, two pages at a time uh, using two iPads, you can actually do this. Uh, it's a K&M bar. Um, mounted on a microphone stand with two iPad holders. So uh, a bit more of a detail of that, and that works really, really well. So that concludes uh, the instruction. I hope you found it useful. Happy playing. Adobe Acrobat now. It's three pages. It's 5.3 megabytes. We're just going to reduce that a little bit so that it's not as taxing on the iPad to change pages and to store it. So what we are going to do is that we're going to click on document and then we're going to scroll down to reduce file size. Okay, on the reduce file size uh, we can either go apply to multiple uh, PDFs, but we just have the one PDF, so I'm just going to click OK.
okay then it's going to ask us where we would like to save this particular document I'm going to save it in the same folder then it's going to ask me uh, if I want to overwrite the existing file and I'm going to click yes Okay, so uh, Adobe Acrobat has crunched some numbers, it has overwritten the chart, and we've gone from 5.3 megabytes to 296 kilobytes. So that's a fantastic size for storing, and the chart still looks really good. So, uh, and it's readable, and it's going to be fine. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to click on that particular file, we are going to go into our iTunes uh, folder under your particular iPad. Then you're going to click on Apps. You're going to navigate to your chosen uh, PDF viewer. That could be Adobe Acrobat. Uh, I like to use Unreal Book for music. Um, that seems to work very well for my purposes. And so what we're going to do, we're just going to click, hold, and drag it into iTunes, we're going to let it go in iTunes, and then we're going to sync our iPad uh, with iTunes, and then your chart will be in Unreal Book or your chosen app, and then you're able to use it for your purposes. Hopefully that's been helpful um, for you to use, get a bit more out of your iPad. Um, enjoy, hope it goes well.